Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is December 23rd, 2021. Polygon Matic. Is this bullish or is this going to be a fake out? I mean, look at the price in Matic today. You guys can see that it is making and attempting to do all-time highs. We're trading at all-time highs. So what's going to happen next? We saw what happened the last time that Matic made all-time highs back here in May and price came down massively. Can we expect that again? Or do you think that this market in Matic is going to continue to go up? Is this a bounce or is this a fake out? Let's talk about that today. Welcome to HFN, also known as Hufin News. This is what I do. I do price predictions without the confusion. I don't want you all to be confused because looking at markets is not supposed to be complex. It's not supposed to be analytical. You're not supposed to be having 15 indicators on your chart just to figure out what the market is going to do. It don't require that. All you need to do is simply look at what the market is doing with the money because money talks. Now, check this out. I'm going to talk about what happened on my last video regarding Matic and my price prediction because I'm fully transparent. And then I'm going to see whether or not the market's going to continue its upward trek to higher prices in this market for Matic. So make sure you hit the like button. Instead of being also subscribed to the channel, you know, do the run of the mill things that everyone on YouTube wants you to do for their particular channel. Now, if you appreciate my content, definitely do those things because I provide a lot of value to everyone who wishes to become better at predicting prices without confusing themselves. Now, yeah, you can see it. I'm gonna keep it real. You can see it. December 13th was the last time I did a video in Polygon Matic. I was playing a weakness. Yeah, now look, look what happened though. I mean, it didn't go down. Yeah, you, you got it. It didn't go down. Well, initially it did go down but it wasn't a long-term movement to the downside. We did the video on December 13th. You could go back and check it out. We played the weakest in Matic and we only had one day. Well, pretty much I would say in between the 13th and the 14th of December is when the weakness came in the market in Matic. And after that, on the 14th, market in Matic started to go back up. And since then, it's been going up all the way back here to where we attempted or where we made all-time highs so yeah i didn't get this right no now as a teachable moment let me show you to minimize losses right you have to understand the market is telling us every day that is trading what it's trying to do right so we play the weakness into the market matic right right here we should have start to think, OK, hold on. The market may not be as weak as what I thought it was because price did start the day going down. But we ended closing at the high of the bar. Right. And then you saw it again on the 15th. Market started down again, but we closed towards the high of the bar. That's telling you right there that the market is getting more buyers than it is with the sellers the sellers are losing pretty much from the 14th of december to the 15th this is what this is telling us now you guys can see that we had placated an area to where we were going to continue to play the weakness right right here and it's not a coincidence that the market did go down on the 16th of december right there because that's where the sellers were at right they were going to try another opportunity to push down the price in manic which they did but right here, the 17th is the day that you should have said, all right, cool, I, I got to let this play go because the market is still showing me that the buyers want to bring this market higher. Because again, look, right here on December the 17th, price did go down. We started the day in Matic going down here on the 17th. But again, look, price ended and closed on the day at the high of the bar. This means that the buyers overcame the sellers. And that is why price in Matic has been going up the whole time, right? So yeah, reading the market, we should have gotten out right there on that day. That's about 9.67% loss, or we could have gotten out on the 18th on the close. That still shows that the strength into the market is still there. It's about 14%. So many people want you all to hold and wish you see the price go down. Then they want you to dollar cost average down. Then they want you to buy the dip. At times you just gotta say, look, it didn't go right. Let me keep the rest of my soldiers to deploy them in another war. Because if you didn't, 
14.81% versus if you were to get out now, 31. Yeah. Now, let me get rid of this though. Okay, that's after the fact. We like to predict and see where the market is going to do next, right? So now check this out. The market in Matic attempted again to make all time highs. Right? You see that? We got it. Now, this market in Matic is massively strong, right? This is a very strong market in Matic. I don't care what anyone says. There's other altcoins that is trading on these markets that doesn't look as strong as this, right? To see Matic come in and make all time highs or attempt to do it, speaks pretty good of what the market is trying to do. Now, look at this. We have a very wide spread between where the sellers are located to where the buyers are. The sellers were up here at the all time highs around 270. And we know that the buyers are at least all the way down here towards this ascending line on this long term trend. That's around 55%. That's wide. That's massively wide between where we can see this price go. But we got to keep it real. Now, we want to determine do you think Matic is going to continue to shoot up higher or do you think we need to let this price come down just to breathe a little bit, right? Because we need to determine. Even if we were to see the market come down, where at? Where are the buyers? You should be able to see that a little bit better here on the chart, right? And I'm seeing an area, probably around this area, under any bounce of weakness, any bounce of selling, the market needs to bounce right there around $2.20, $2.20, and definitely no lower than $2, okay? So as we see this market approaching this all-time high area, you can see that we are closing off of the highs right now two dollars and twenty cents and two dollars are those areas that the buyers need to come in and show themselves okay simple now this is the five day time frame i mean take a look yeah the market is closing up on the highs everyone knows everyone sees these price charts understand that we're trying to attempt all time highs or we probably even did on today's trading right look at that okay so let me show you all the hourly time frame real quick because you guys can see here that yes, the market enigmatic is still getting some weakness right now. Okay, so the forecast is for us to see some downward movement just momentarily. I'm not saying that the market is about to crash in Matic, but we still need to expect us to come down. I mean, it's been a very good move since December the 13th. This price in Matic has gone from $1.75. In 10 days, it has increased 55%. I mean, that's good. That's fantastic. At some time, we need to expect to have a movement to the downside. And what better way to do that when we come up here and trade around all time high levels? So, yeah, let's just play a little bit of weakness right now. I'm not going to be massively bearish yet. I did pinpoint that price needs to hold. I'm going to give you like 20 cent increments. The first spot is around $2.40. The second area is $2.20. The third area is $2.00. Those will be the locations that I am going to be paying attention to for us to see the buyers. Okay, the sooner that the buyers do step in, the bigger the market is going to continue to go up higher in price. Okay, so check this out. We got 240 first. Okay, so that would give us under any auspice of weakness and movement to the downside, five and three quarters of a percent. Cool, got it. Second area is going to be 220. That's going to be around 13% profitability. And then third and last, most definitely the market needs to come in and hold, I would say around $2.05. Okay. Now. Go ahead and extend this out just a little bit. Okay. This is not a long-term prediction. I'm not looking for the market in Matic to really come down substantially. I really want to see the buyer step in. So this is what this prediction is for. I'm looking and aiming to determine where the buyers are going to appear. And the first location I'm paying attention to is around 240. And again, second area 220, third area is $2. Now, the further we go down, the more weaker the market is going to be. So for instance, let's say the market in Matic comes down to 240 and we try to hold the price. The buyers try to keep the market up, but the price drops down to 220 right then the market tries to hold 220 
then the price breaks down to two dollars then it's going to take us longer just for the price to come back up to try to tempt those all-time highs right then at some point we break two dollars to the downside we might as well expect us to continue to go a lot lower that's the play this is my expectation as to what i'm thinking the market is going to do going forward now the sooner the better all right so i'm going to sit back and wait until the buyers appear because if they appear around 240 then this market in manic is still massively bullish but if they don't we're not going to be caught off guard we're not going to be surprised because we already expected it to happen that's why we got 220 next and then two dollars so that's it now it's your turn drop me your price prediction real quick and let me know where do you think the market in manic is going to go to start out 2022 all right because money talks make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different